Welcome to our A320 simulator. Today, we will walk you through all the normal procedures. So first of all, we will do some necessary check before we do the cockpit preparation. First of all, we have to check our radar radar is off, but we don't have that switch, so we just ignore this step. Second one is the thrust lever. We will keep it at idle position. And then the engine selector, which is in normal position, Parking grip is set, landing gear selector is down, and the wiper on both sides are off. After that, we can go to our overhead panel. First of all, we will turn on battery 1, and then battery 2. Then, we will test our APU by pressing this button. When you see the red light, then the test is complete. Then we are ready to start the APU. First, we switch on the master switch and wait for around 3 seconds and then we can start it. And the whole APU startup will take around 1 minute and I will talk about our checking philosophy. For the overhead panel, we will check from bottom to the top and from the left to the right. So as you can see, the APU start is complete and our instruments are running now. So we'll go to our overhead panel. First of all, we switch on the crew supply for the oxygen and then we will test the copy voice recorder. We have to turn on the ground control and then we press the test button. When we hear a beeping sound, then the test is complete and we can turn off the ground control. For the evacuation panel, we will choose the switch to be on the captain and person side. Then we can move to the ADI RS. First, we switch the IR1 to NAV mode and we can see the on bed button it is on. We have to wait it to extinguish before we proceed. Then, we start the second one to NAV mode. And then, number three. So now, we will move to the bottom which is the exterior lights first of all the strobe light will be in auto position the beacon switch is off and the nav and local light will be at one and for the remaining exterior light we will use on request then we will move to the sign switch for the seat belt and no smoking warning we will switch it to auto then you can see two sound, you can hear two sound. For the emergency exit light, we'll arm the light in the off indication will goes out. Then we'll check the prop and window heat to see if it is auto. When it is auto, there will be no light. As the same as what we see now. Then we'll move to our right hand side, the landing elevation knob. We will choose the elevation knob to auto. After that, we will move up to air conditioner. We will press the APU bleed on, and then pack flow selector will keep it normal. Then we will go to the electricity part. For the electricity part, we will first go to the ECAM and we'll press the electricity button then we can see battery 1 and battery 2 is working to check it I'll press battery 1 off and see if the ECAM show battery 1 off after that I will turn it on again and the same procedure for battery 2 the electricity check is complete after selecting the electricity we will move to our fuel pumps. We have to extinguish all white light.
Then we can proceed to the engine. We will do the engine one fire test by pressing the test button. We can see red light here, master warning here, and here. By pressing the master warning, engine one fire test is complete. For engine two fire test, we'll do the same procedure. We can see master warning and fire here, and then we can press off. The test is complete. We'll move to audio switching to see if the knob is in normal. Then we'll go to ventilation to see all white light is off. Then we'll move to uh, the center instrument panel. First of all, we'll check the clock is running and the anti skier switch is on then we'll move to a weather radar selector which is here we will choose weather plus turbulence which is wx plus t then we will check our ehem door status by pressing the door button and see there's all green lights and then we will move to switching all switching should be on the normal position and we'll check the engine again the first lever is idle engine master is off and the mode is normal then we'll move to the parking brake to check the parking brake we first have to check the ACCU pressure by releasing the parking brake when we see there is corresponding action we can uh, we can set the parking brake again to see if there is any pressure rise or drop then the parking brake check is complete up next is the gravity gear extension we check it is stowed then we'll move to the ATC for the ATC T-Car selector we will choose it as T-A-R-A -A. And then we will select the range we need. When it comes to MCDU, we, we should first check the aircraft status. We go to the data page and aircraft status. Then we can check our aircraft type. Is it AV20-214? Then we should check the engine, which is CFF. 56-5B4 and our navigation database is this the uh, the most updated after that we sh you should go to the init page and insert our original airport and the destination airport and insert to the right hand side then we should insert our flight number FJ005 and our cost index today is 20 and our cruising altitude is 310 feet after that we should align our LS After pressing the Align RLS, we should go to the Flight Plan page and we should first insert the original airport departure runway information by pressing the left hand, left right corner button and go to the departure page. Today, according to our flight plan, we are departing from 07 right at the Hong Kong International Airport. So we press 07 right and according to our flight plan choose we should choose the SID which is Ocean 2A. If here did not appear any Ocean 2A we should go to the next page by pressing the next button, the arrow. 
here appear the ocean to a you should press it and we can see the yellow verse the the red point is appear here then we press the insert button after that we are finished to insert the original airport information then we should go to the destination airport we should also enter the one-way information choose arrival and according to our flight plan we are out, uh, landing at iOS 27 and due to the flight plan is direct too so we did not we, we are not necessary to enter the, the waypoint so we can just press insert after that we can insert our um, waypoint between two original airport and destination airport Aries. then here we can enter the Aries at the left hand side and waypoint at the right hand side After insert the waypoint and the uh, arrays to our computer, we should press insert button. Then we will back to the flight plan page. And then we should check any discontinuities uh, by pressing the arrow. And we should first choose the anti navigation display to plan. Then we can see we are at the uh, plan display, at our ND display. Okay, we can press up and find any discontinuities. Here we can sh see the flight plan discontinuities is appear uh, at our MCDU display. Now we should press clear button and then choose the column of the flight plan discontinuity discontinuities display and then we choose insert button and then we should continue to check any discontinuities in our flight plan until we see the end of flight plan after that we should go to the init page and then go to page 2 We should choose uplink and our zero field rate and zero field rate center gravity is appear on the MCDU. Then we should go to the performance. According to our flight plan, we are ha having a V1 speed of 146 lot and 150 for VR lot and 151 for V2. After enter the reference speed, we should enter the uh, positions of flaps. Today we are using flaps 1 and low trim, zero trim, and insert to the flaps position here. Then we are finished, uh, enter the data in our MCDU. After setting up the MCDU, we will go to the EFIS control. First of all, we will check our barometric reference and see if it is in barrel mode with a corresponding QNH. Make sure both sides are the same. Then we check both flight directors are on or the localizer are as requested. Then we will choose the ND range or ND mode as required. Then we will move to the FCU. 
First, we check the speed mod window is dashed. And we check our heading and vertical speed are shown. If it is not shown, we press this button until it is shown heading and vertical speed. Then we'll move to our primary flight display and navigation display brightness. We can adjust the brightness by this knob. Then we'll move to our eCam. First, we press the pressure button and check the landing elevation is auto as what we said previously. Lastly, Press the status button and see if there is any yellow word. If yes, just do what he recommends to do and until the status is empty. Okay. After cockpit preparation, we'll move to before start clearance. Firstly, we'll go to fuel page by pressing the fuel button. Our required fuel will be 7.2 tons, which is similar as our fuels on board. Then, we'll move to our sitting position by adjusting our sitting position. And then, we'll move to the MCDU. For the pilot flying side, he will set his MCTU to performance page. For the pilot monitoring side, I will set the MCTU to flight plan page. And then the before start checklist is complete. For the at start clearance, we have to first obtain our pushback and start clearance. After obtaining the clearance, we have to check our windows and door. By pressing the door button, we can see all windows and doors are closed, which means all green lights. Then we'll move to our exterior light. For the beacon light, we have to turn it on. And then the flush thrust lever will be idle. And then we can release the parking brake and commence our pushback. When the pushback is complete, set the parking brake and the air start clearance is complete. After pushback, we can start our engines. Firstly, we will switch the engine selector to ignition or start. Then, we can switch the engine to master switch on. And we can see the data keep rising and we have to wait. When the available is shown, which the idle is rich, we can start engine 1. When we also see the available sign on engine 1, we have successfully start both engines. After our engines are start, we can taxi to the runway. Then we have to obtain our taxi clearance and then we have to set our exterior light. For our nose light, 
we'll switch it to taxi position and then we will release our parking brake and check our parking brake pressure at zero then the pilot flying will start taxiing he will apply the first lever as required then he will press the brake pedal to see if the brake is working well then the brake is working well in this case we will move to our flight control check first I will go to the flight control page and I will check the side stick full right full left full forward and pull backward now I will also test the rudder the rudder is working and I will check the flight director both flight directors are on and radar should be on then We'll select terrain or navigation display which it will show the, the geographic information ahead to prepare for takeoff we have to select auto brake max and then press the takeoff configuration to see the takeoff memo that there are no blue For the before takeoff checklist, we have to first check our brake temperature by pressing the wheel button and see all four brakes are in normal temperature. Then we have to advise our cabin crew and we will choose our engine mode selector to ignition or start if we uh, expect severe turbulence. Then, we have to stow our sliding table and confirm our takeoff runway. Then, to reduce the engine burden, we have to switch off pack 1 and 2. After obtaining the lineup clearance, we will switch on the strobe light. And make sure our TARA selector is in TARA mode. And then our before takeoff checklist is complete. Okay. Okay, takeoff clearance obtained. Hold the exterior light. No switch on. Takeoff. One way turn off light on, landing light on. Okay, we'll see on. LS. LS. LS on. Okay, check one way alignment.
positive prime here, here, autopilot. AP2, okay, AP2 on. Takeoff check is now start. APU bleed off. It's off. Okay, off. APU master off. Okay. Engine motor aircraft normal. NTI is off. Off. Okay. After takeoff. Pack. Okay. Pack, pack on. on. Okay, both pack on. After takeoff checklist complete. Climb checklist, pilot flight, MCDU performance, okay. Monitoring flight plan, okay. Barometric reference, QNH, okay. Oh, there's that. QNH, QNH, okay. Cruise level as required, rated to remain. Wait for 10,000 feet. When passing the transitional air deterioration, the choose that STD. Okay. Okay, 10,000 feet, landing light, track, track. seat belt switch off, off. Evers option, constraint on constraint. one side, airport on the other side. Okay, you can be more, all stable, left at clear, and then Climb checklist complete. We'll wait until cruise. Okay. We are preparing for landing, so we should enter some of the data in our MCDU. First, we should go to the performance page, which is this page, and we go to next phase until we see the approach page. Then we should enter the QNH of the destination airport, which is 1013, and the temperature of the destination airport is 50 degree, wind directions, zero degree and zero knot. And our transitional altitude according to the airport chart is 11,000 feet, 
as for the decision height we also ha have to take a look of the airport charge which is 550 feet and enter to the decision height and we should confirm our landing configurations is full then uh, we are finished to enter the information in our MCDU Level 200, radar okay. radar, tilt as request, okay, zero degree, and pilot flying MCDU should be dashed, descending, 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 okay, pilot monitoring, flight plan, okay, speed is 300 knots, set 300 knots. Set. Okay, 300 knots set and terrain on navigation display on on okay check on check on wait until 10,000 feet descending to 12,000 check Set to QNH. Set to QNH. One, two, one, three. Check. Okay, ten thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Check. Okay, speed two hundred and fifty knots. Two hundred and fifty knots. Yes, okay. Set. Speed set. Landing light switch on. Switch on. Okay, landing light switch on. And seatbelt switch on. Evers. Constraint on both sides. Constraint on both sides. Check. Okay, check. Localizer as required. Okay, not yet. Engine mode selector, remain normal. Normal. Okay. Stairs button. Normal. Okay. You can status check all normal. Parametric reference set. QNH. Okay, QNH. 1013. Yeah, 1013. Check. Sixty miles to our destination. Set the approach altitude to sixteen thousand. Okay. Six okay, sixteen thousand. One thousand six hundred. Okay, we see the runway, so approach checklist, E first option, constraint, constraint. Check. check, green dot speed set, 230 knots, okay, 230 knots, okay, 230 knots set, uh, set intercept heading. Intercept heading. Two 
Okay, so we we'll wait for 1,000. Approach what? Okay, approach on. LS. Localizer. Localizers. Flight director. Both on. Checks. Localizer capture. Localizer capture. Okay. 
Don't spoil it. The sound is not possible. Okay. Okay. So, Tika, stand by. Tika, stand by. Stand by. If you must switch, you must switch on. If you on, if you on, then it might switch the track. Stroke like auto. Nose. Taxi. 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 Are the exterior light remain? Brake temperature check. Okay, normal. Start. After landing check is complete. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, parking. Parking. Okay, parking brake handle. On, on. NTIs off, off. APU bleed, APU bleed. On, on. Okay. All engine master. Off. All engine master. Master one off. Okay. Master two off. Seat belt off, off. Slice, check this arm. Slice, check. This arm. Okay, this arm. Beacon light off, off. Fuel pumps off, fuel pumps off. Okay. Parking brake as required. Brake fan. Brake fan off. Okay, off. Parking checklist is complete. Complete. Securing the aircraft. Parking brake handle check on. on. Oxygen crew supply off. Off. All IR mode selector off. IR1 off. IR2 off. IR3 off. Okay, exterior light off. Off. Okay, check off. APU bleed, press button off. Off. APU master switch off. Master switch off. Emergency exit light switch off. Off. Check off. Sign switch off. Off. External power button not required. Not required. Battery 1 and 2 off. 1 off. Two off. Okay, the aircraft is secure. Okay, check is complete. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>